Hey Navy! <laughs> uh, today, this video will be um, what to know before you're going to boot camp. So, right now, literally just right now, I just thought of like a list of things I can talk about. But if you have questions, please, com please comment the questions and I can answer it like that. I feel like that would be more informative than me just talk about random stuff. But, okay, so the first thing I have is what to know, like what to study before you get there. It's just gonna make everything way easier. Um, you have a higher chance of passing the depth test, which you can get promoted on if you pass the depth test and the uh, fitness test, the original fitness test. And it's um, for the fitness test, it's the pacer run, like the one that you do in school, that you run back and forth with the beep, um, a plank, and push-ups. So if you pass that and the depth test, you get promoted if you're at E1. Or I think E2, I don't know. But E1 for sure. Um, so things to study is chain of command, which like half of that you're gonna ha like have to learn it in boot camp because it's like different for each ship and like knowing your RDCs and stuff. Let me look through this. This is the training guide you're gonna get. I don't know if I can show you this, but this is the training guide. Um, chain of command. So, President, Secretary of Defense, Navy, Chief of Naval Operations, MCPON, Chief of Naval Personnel, Fleet Master Chief, all that stuff. You have to know all these names. You have to know their title. So, the Chief of Naval Personnel is Vice Admiral Cheeseman. He is a 09, <laughs> he's an officer, he's a 09, and uh, he wears on the collar of his dress blue uniform three silver stars and one two inch gold stripes and two half inch gold stripes on the sleeve I think if I'm right let me see wait I think that's right anyways if it's not it's not but yeah you have to learn stuff like that you also have to learn the general orders there's 11 of them the longer ones are kind of hard let me see. Everything literally is in this book. Um, 2, 6, and 11 are the longer ones, but it's honestly easy. And you have to know them by number. So they say, what's the fifth one? You have to know which one that is. 11 general orders. Easy. Sailor's Creed. Easy. All this stuff is pretty easy. Just make flashcards or read it a hundred times, keep rewriting it a bunch, and you'll memorize it. But for the inspections, those questions are very important. You don't want to be like my division and acting stupid. I'm sorry. I never had a question hit ever, so I can say that. But these people, it's like, you literally got the easiest question and you're getting it wrong. Oh, to sound the alarm. That's not... Okay. <laughs> if you know... <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> if you know you know but it was just crazy like different people long <laughs> oh my gosh let me <laughs> always maintain your military bearing there are gonna the whole time boot camp you're gonna want to laugh because literally everything is funny people be acting crazy all the time just like why would you do that doing stupid stuff and it's just like you have to hold in your laugh because if you don't and you let that laugh out you're gonna get beat um luckily i never got caught laughing but yeah you will get beat if you if they see you laughing because nothing's funny for real like nothing's funny at all um so yeah um i would say <laughs> okay this is all over the place but i would say the best part of boot camp is the people that you meet. You will meet some really funny people, some really nice people. Um, I still talk to barely any of those people I met in boot camp today. Um, but it's okay. Um, my roommate, we were in the same division. So that's cool. She's asleep right now. She's acting from this. Um, I have what's next on the list. Oh, things to bring. Banking info, if you want to keep your bank account, if you want to keep your bank account, um, or you can sign up for Armed Forces or Navy Federal. I got Navy Federal. 
you can sign up for that in there, and then you'll you'll get paid direct deposit while you're in boot camp. Um, gel. I say bring gel because all they have is the got to be yellow one. That's it. That's all they have. So if you want to bring eco, this will fit in the A and B drawer. The A and B drawer is like this tall and this wide. If you can finesse and you can fit a lot of stuff in there, like I had that drawer stuffed to the brim, and then you could also take the drawer out and put stuff underneath. But eco can fit in the AB drawer. You just turn it to the side and it fits. So if you want to bring eco gel, do that. There is a chance it may make you throw it away. Like when we went to the airport, they were telling everybody to throw like everything away. Oh, if you have gel, they're going to have it at the store. Throw it away if you have makeup. I was bringing, okay, I'm extra. I love makeup. I was bringing my makeup from home, like just a little bit of it. I'm not throwing that stuff away. That stuff is expensive. So you can uh, still bring that. Just don't throw it away at the airport. I'd rather you wait and get fussed that a little bit and if they see if they see it and decide they don't want you to have it while you're put packing your ditty box. Is that what it's called? Ditty box? Ditty bag? While you're packing your box, which is taking all your civilian stuff and putting it inside. But yeah, bring the gel, bring a little bit of makeup for your pictures so your picture is cute. Um, bring an address book, make sure you have all your addresses and phone numbers. Um, what else can you bring? I say that's like the main things. Like if you want to bring like face wash and stuff, you can. But they supply you with a big bottle of soap, a razor, shaving cream. Um, that's it. So Bria, yeah, bring your own hair stuff. You can't have braids in there. You can't have twists. If you want to have a wig on in there, have a wig on. That's doing the most. I had braids in until swim, and then after swim, I took them out, and I was wearing my hair in a bun. This, you cannot wear your hair like this. This is not in regs. It's too wide. You gotta have, like, two inches. You can have it two inches, I hope, but it's the appropriate length. Um, let me think. Uh, I think that's mainly it. Yeah, so if y'all have questions, please ask the questions, and I can respond better to those. Right now, my brain is not working. Um, next up is leadership roles so they're gonna assign these roles loosely okay so we were in p hold when we first got there we were in holding for a week and so they were like people that they made like rpoc and a rock but they weren't like permanent so once you meet your rdc's they're gonna be choosing people but doesn't mean that they're gonna be the, that person for the whole time like our rpoc he was that same guy for the whole time he was so cool we miss you, Arpok. We don't miss A Rock number two. We really don't. We don't like him. He didn't know how to sing. It was just terrible. He used to sing the same song all the time. He was not my A Rock. I'm so sorry, but no, I don't. I don't do it. I can't. I just no. No one liked him. Um, people did like him. No, he was really he was really funny, but he just was not a singer at all. Um. But if you're loud, then you make the cut. I mean, we didn't really have any other option. Our girl couldn't do it anymore. It is what it is. But if you can sing, definitely like say that. Because if you are an E1 and you can sing and you're AREC, you will get promoted. Um, all the, I think most leadership positions, AREC and AREC for sure get promoted. But all the other ones, like you get a chance. Like, if they see you working hard, you you can definitely get promoted for sure. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, if you can sing, definitely be A-Rock. If you get if you have good handwriting, you could be Yeoman, which is like, you basically know everybody's business, looking at everybody's hard card, where they're from, what grade they got on what, if they passed or failed to any test. Um, but I don't even know how they would choose those. Like, they, were, they asked us one time... Who, who used to work out, and that's how they chose the APO, the athletic person. But the way I got a leadership position, and this is a whole little story about this, is so for our first inspection, this guy, I think he didn't know his eighth general order or something. He didn't know one of the general orders. So after the inspection happened, they called him up. I'm going to just call him recruit because I don't want to put him on a blast. So they're like, recruit, come here. Chief said that, and he, would, he was like, give me your chevron. And he snaps that, but so the Chevron is like, uh, 
It can be like um, a cheap one, which is for RPOC. AROC gets a, a first class. Section leaders get second class. Whatever, but he was the EPO. The education, so that means you gotta know your stuff. And he didn't know his stuff, so he got that snatch. And so I remember after he got his snatch, uh, Chief basically gave it to me and was like, here you go, Cobra Sid. <laughs> and it was the day we had a test one, and he was like, if you didn't get a 4.5 on this test, good luck, whatever, he said. I did not do good in that test. I got a 3.9. For that first test, study, study, study. It's way harder than test two. Test two is easy because all that stuff in test two, you're learning it hands on, so it makes it easier. I feel like, yeah. Test one, I got a 3.9. Test two, I got a 4.9. I got like one wrong. I was so proud of myself. Test two and battle stations. This was everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, this video is everywhere. But test two and battle stations goes hand in hand. If you fail test two, you're getting asthma and you're doing battle stations with like another division. Like not even kidding. You will get asthma. But test one, you get one more chance if you fail the test. Our division, oh my gosh, our division was low key trash. Like I think 30 something people, almost 40 people failed test one so they had to retake it luckily everybody passed but it's just like that is so embarrassing like we did not get the scholastic flag at all our bro dip did but we did not um flags are important yes they are because the flags show how hard you worked like if you got low scores you're not gonna get a flag if you got high scores as a division you're gonna get a flag so if you have a lot of flags that means you did good in everything if you have no flags that means you did bad in everything so people say oh i don't care about the flag so you don't care about doing good because it goes hand in hand you know um yeah i'm sorry i feel like i have ADHD you just jumping from two different topics but for the fitness part if you're bad at running you need to start running now like i don't care if you got boot camp in a week you need to start running right now they're gonna have like PT days where you like you work out the workouts are really easy I feel like they're more for the people that are super out of shape because even though I didn't even go to the gym that much I was killing the workouts like it really isn't that hard at all you just gotta just try and you're gonna see the difference because I went in probably I could probably do 10 push-ups going in before that like a year prior I literally cannot do one push-up at all and I don't even know how that's possible not can't even do one push-up but I went in um, um the first fitness test I did 28 and by the OPFA I did 58 so that's crazy because the workouts we do are not that hard at all and I improved that much um the plank you're gonna do like PT do like push-ups planks um the stuff where you lay back bird dogs whatever it's called running in place like the the workouts are not hard at all and you also have days where you just run for like 10 or 15 minutes or do a, a run jog walk whatever um you just gotta apply yourself and you can tell the people that apply themselves and end up passing at the end versus the people that had five minutes over the time they should have got and failed no offense but you just have to try so start running right now you have to have that mile and a half for i think male you have to be like 12 minutes female is like 14 45 for alpha female uh the older you are the more time you get and the less they you, they require you to do so i guess that's a plus if you're older but still you want to try your best if you try your best your rdc's will see that at anything you do and that also helps you get promoted because they can choose like six, seven people just to promote that didn't have like leadership positions or whatever. They can choose a random group of people that they've seen working hard. Oh, I remember her. She's been working hard since day one. She's been putting in that work. She's been helping others. She's been standing up and they will promote you. So you don't have to be our or a rock to get promoted. You can just be yourself with no chevron, no leadership position. So yeah. Oh yeah, back to leaderships. Oh my gosh, this feels horrible. Okay. So yeah, I was the EPO. So I guess I was I was trying my best to help people, but it's just like if you don't get it, you don't get it, and it's hard. Like I'm not a teacher. I can't like I can test you, but I can't teach you how I like learned it because everyone learns differently. 
So, um, I was just, just wearing the shirt, I just wear it, I guess. But one day, Chief called me into the office and he's like, we're gonna make you a section leader. Which was very awkward because the girl, I basically was taking her job and she was taking mine, but she wanted to stay a section and she was like upset about that, but I was like, oh girl, I'm sorry. Um, another thing, I feel like if you act sad, they will give you a job. <laughs> like, I was, I can say in boot camp, I was kind of sad. Um, but then they gave me a job. And guess what? It helped. I was happy being a section leader. Um, a section leader is basically looking through everyone's racks, making sure everything's on spot, everything's folded right. You're going to learn how to fold every single thing and you can apply it to your day to day life and it's going to make everything so much neater and organized, especially for packing. Like folding shirts and towels into like a little, it's so nice. Like even my stuff now is folded the same way we were folding in boot camp. But that's basically what a section leader is. And for static, it's like they check to all the racks. They check to make sure everything is clean and done the way that you're supposed to be doing it. And they grade you based off that. We got like a 4.8. Like the section leader is like we all worked so hard. And people, the biggest thing is that people don't listen. You will not do as good in boot camp if you don't listen. Building, 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 I don't know. Oh, ship staff is a thing. So random people can be chosen for that. So instead of doing watch in the compartment, you're doing watch on the quarter deck of the ship. And when I say ship, I mean building, but they call them ships. So you're greeting officers. You're greeting like petty officers and stuff. It's actually way better. And you can do temp checks. So you walk around the whole building with the temperature and the person in the compartment, they're like, with that's 70. So it's 70 degrees, you just tip check, you write it down. That's fun. Um, and there was like leadership roles for that too. So I ended up being ships are you know. My my bro dibs, petty officer, chose me to be ships are uh, I still remember why to this day, but he's seen something in me. And now I see something in myself because I'm actually, I was actually killing it for real, for real. Um, what else can I add? So yes, uh, getting back, so basically I don't know if it was like me being a section leader in Ships RPOC or if they just seen me working hard or whatever, but I did get promoted in boot camp. Um, so now I'm E2. So did my roommate, we both baddies. She got promoted off the depth test because she's very, very, very smart. She's smart. She's in great shape, obviously. Why wouldn't she? Uh, I hope she hear me talking about her. Uh, anything else? I mean, okay, so this this that they give you, it has a lot of good information, except the one thing that I did not like is that they have a chain of command in here, but they have the titles, which I know they can't make it. They can't put the people down because it's probably going to be changing, but still, like... What's the point? So yeah, that's the chain of command. You gotta know all those people. It's like 20 something. Um, yeah, this is gonna tell you all the leadership positions. MA, RPOC, Yeoman. There's a laundry PO. You can be in there doing some laundry. Um, what else? Yeah, learning your officers. Oh yeah, radio recognition. Learning officers and enlisted. Learning how to identify, look at their... Their collar device and knowing what they are. Because that's embarrassing. If you go up to a chief and call them a petty officer, you will get literally cussed out. Um... Yeah... I think that's everything you need to know um hmm yeah
I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully the next video I do about Navy is better. But, oh, let me just read like little stuff, my entries, and then I'll end the video, but. Okay, so this is at 325, November 11th. I don't know if this is supposed to be 1525 or if this is supposed to be 0325, but it just says 325. I don't know. I said, we have been here in four days and hold. I talked at Chow, so everyone had to hold the book and get punished. I will never do that again. I also eat so much food. This is the most I've ever eaten. Also, a lot of fruit and veggies. So I did gain 10 pounds in boot camp happy about that because i was really skinny i still am skinny but i don't know if my body changed that much i can't really tell maybe it was just muscle but i am stronger now um 58 push-ups maxed out the plank 12.55 mile and a half i'm I kinda, i'm kind of strong guys i've got to strong. i don't know about anymore because i don't really work out like that we are in hold but please please if you have questions, just comment because I know this video is probably just terrible. I'm jumping around way too much. I, just, I haven't filmed in a long time, guys. I'm sorry. Y'all know how I am. But if you like this video, thumbs up. Why not? Thank you for 4K. Um, soon we will have a special guest come on here. Uh, she goes she goes by the name of Maya 4K. So happy to have her. <laughs> um yeah so you guys can meet her um i don't know how that's gonna work she's she's not in the same state right now but anyways yay navy okay bye